what's up guys now before we start with the video i do want to tell you guys about this really cool app for black desert what it basically does is it allows you to receive notifications on either your desktop or your android or iphone of any item on the marketplace that you like when it goes up pretty much you know on the game where you set notifications so you can buy an item well yeah you can do that now on your phone and uh your computer so you can get notifications if you're alt tabbed if you're afk or if you're out of the house and, you know you want to try to bid on a dandelion or anything like that you can now get notified about it and it's very very useful i use this app all the time and i'm trying to get my dandelion still haven't gotten one yet but it is very helpful so you guys definitely check it out link is in the description and uh, don't worry you don't have to log in with your account information or anything like that so don't worry about being hacked or anything like that don't worry about that so yeah uh if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments but yeah let's get on with the video now i made several leveling guides and the last leveling guide i made was how to get to level 60 um and in that guide the ultimate place i decided that was the best place to get to level 60 was pirate islands jungle rotation which was an amazing amount of experience and money per hour um back then i was making so much exp and money there that i pretty much had no choice but to absolutely recommend it to everyone to go there even if they weren't at the same level or gear level as me as long as they can clear it was just too good to be true and the same can be said about the new area where i am grinding again now which is what you're seeing on the screen nagas but nagas is even better than pirates was back then now there's no secret exp has gotten uh, drastically a lot easier to obtain now because the amount you need to level up has decreased but Nonetheless, the experience you're getting from Nagas is still much better than you would get from Pirates today, as well as Saucens, even if you have the best rotations. Here at Nagas, I was able to make about, I'd say, 14 to 16% an hour at level 57. And then at level 58, it was around 8% an hour. And now that I am 59 it's closer to four percent an hour but as i got higher leveled obviously i was able to clear faster so that kind of made a bit of an increase that it, that i would have made if i didn't have the new skills that ranger has when you level up but everyone gets new skills so this place is simply amazing amazing i cannot express it to you guys the, the biggest thing that i love about this fucking place is that it's so convenient like the town is literally right next door like this is where it is all you do is you just leave sand grain bazaar you walk up this hill and you are at the grind spot it's absolutely insane like repairing repotting it's never been faster i don't think there's any grind spot in the entire game as convenient as this one like even if you die the node is right here like there's nothing there's nothing that that's closer and more convenient than this spot what you can do is you can take your camel or horse or elephant or wagon whatever leave it right here it won't get attacked by the mob so you don't have to go directly back to town if you don't want to until you need to, to absolutely need to to repair which is what i do it holds all my weight and stuff like that since i don't have weight and stuff yet on this account because that stuff is expensive but yeah this this place is just simply amazing like i'm telling you guys i will be level 60 within the next day or so if i decide to just go full retard mode and the amount of experience i've gotten here is absolutely ridiculous i made my ranger uh well i was level 56 on my ranger two days ago and i'm 59 today uh grinding about let's say 10 hours a day maybe maybe that's pushing it but i also have exp elixirs of course i was also chasing bells i also have the exp helmet i have costume i have i was using my 200 percent of course but uh, and also i had access to ovia servers don't forget that but even now without the over ovia servers i'm still getting around four percent an hour at level 59 which is absolutely insane and that so at 60 i will imagine that i'll be getting around one to two percent an hour which is still absolutely insane for exp like it just doesn't get any better than this uh, not only that, but I got a lot of scrolls. I've gotten over what, over 13 scrolls, just like completed scrolls, 13 completed uh, Pila, Pila Fey scrolls, like 
completed like it's absolutely insane the money per hour is crazy i've gotten up to uh seven scrolls in one hour that's a good hour for me usually i get around four but seven scrolls in one hour on top of that the trash loot turns out to be around four to five mil so yeah you can calculate that yourself including weapon stones and things like that and also you still have a chance of seraph's necklace dropping which even a bigger boost of money now i'm not gonna lie I haven't seen a single Seraph since I've been here. So that's the only thing I can say that's a downside as far as my RNG goes. But nonetheless, it's still great money and great EXP. I really don't see any need to go anywhere else. I tried to go to, to, uh, to the, oh, I can't even pronounce this thing, the new temple in Kama Silph. I tried to go to the wolves in Kama Silph. Neither one of them even came close to the amount of experience i get here and i was in good parties too don't get me wrong i was in great parties but the experience here is just too fucking good like seriously i just had to share this with you guys definitely start grinding here the big downside here though the biggest downside here is the pvp basically if someone comes to your spot and you flag on them you're in trouble basically if they kill you you get sent sentenced straight to prison so you you really no sorry if you kill them you get sentenced straight to prison if they kill you so it's pretty pretty bad so you pretty much basically can't kill anyone you can't flag up and kill anyone what i do is i ask people hey duel for the spot if they win they can have it if i lose they can have it but sometimes they uh sometimes they simply do not want to duel and uh at that point you have to either declare war or find some other way to get rid of them sometimes what i do is i just ks them until they flag up and then they i let them kill me and then i come back and i kill them and uh, that's it they're gone and it's a very very long walk i'm talking about a 10 minute walk if you're fast as fuck to get all the way back over here it's a very long teleport that you have to go through if you get killed right here so it really sucks and uh, a lot of people simply just won't flag because of that reason but some people still do that's really the biggest downside i could come up with this place and even then it's not even that big because well flagging doesn't always guarantee that a person won't come back even if you aren't on uh, um in in the desert and uh, it sucks that even on the pvp channel you still go to jail so yeah unfortunately that's the only thing i could say that's bad about this place other than that the experience is just and the money is just i, I and the convenience factor like <laughs> it's really no place i could imagine any better than this so yeah guys if you guys want to get from level 56 to 60 within four days four full grinding days i definitely definitely suggest that you come to nagas asap get a group get a party get get, get whatever you need get it done you know whatever you got to do i do recommend you keep the scrolls though rather than putting on special deals but hey it's up to you I keep the scrolls i want to do them um, when i get done grinding i'm almost 60 we're pushing it there and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did let me know in the comments uh it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace